In this video, we are going to discuss heterogeneous equilibria. Uh, first of all, there are basically two different types of equilibria. There's homogeneous and heterogeneous. In a homogeneous equilibria, all of the species in the chemical reactions are in the same phase. Here you can see some examples of uh, homogeneous equilibrium. You notice that uh, all of the substances involved here are in the gas phase as well as in the second equation. Now for a homogeneous equilibrium, they don't all have to be in the gas phase, they just have to be in the same phase. In a heterogeneous equilibria, the chemical reaction involves uh, compounds that are in different phases. So here you can see in this uh, first equation here, we have uh, a reactant in the solid phase, a product in the solid phase, and then a product in the gas phase. So we have a mixture of different phases involved in all three of these reactions. So anytime you have a chemical reaction that's the equilibria and the species, uh, the chemical reaction has species that are in different phases, we call that a heterogeneous equilibria. Now when you write an equilibrium constant expression for um, a chemical reaction that's a, heter that's a heterogeneous equilibrium, um, <clears throat> it's very important to remember that you do not include substances that are pure solids or pure liquids in your equilibrium expression. So when you write an equilibrium constant expression, anything that is a pure solid or a pure liquid, you do not include it in your equilibrium expression. You only write substances that are aqueous or in the gas phase when you write your equilibrium expression. And the reason for this is when you, um, the concentration of a solid or a pure liquid does not change during a chemical reaction. The amount of that substance, so the moles, will increase or decrease during the chemical reaction, but the concentration or moles per liter will remain constant for a pure solid or pure liquid. And this is because, um, say you have a solid reactant, the amount of that solid will decrease during the chemical reaction, but its volume also decreases. So its concentration remains constant throughout. So anything that has a constant concentration, we uh, do not include that in our equilibrium expression. So let's practice a few. Here's uh, three chemical reactions. You see that these are involve heterogeneous equilibria. So let's assume all these are at equilibrium. Uh, write a chemical constant expression, an equilibrium constant expression for each of these three chemical reactions. So pause the video, take a few minutes and do that, please. Okay. So for the first reaction, <clears throat> we have um, a reactant that is a solid, a product that's a solid, and a product that's a gas. Again, we don't include pure solids in our equilibrium expression, so this equilibrium constant expression would simplify to just Kc equals the concentration of CO2. And it's reactants over products, but since or products over reactants, excuse me, but since um, our one of our products is a solid and the other reactant is a solid, it just simplifies to this. Let's take a look at our second example. <clears throat> this is a heterogeneous equilibrium. Our Kc expression would be the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants. Every All our coefficients here are ones, so we don't have to worry about any exponents. This would be the concentration of hydronium ion times the concentration of fluoride ion. These are aqueous, so we include those. And then here, one of our reactants is aqueous, our hydrofluoric acid, so we include that. But water is a pure liquid, so we do not include that. So this would be our uh, equilibrium expression. And our third equation, <clears throat> uh, lead chloride solid, uh, dissociates to form lead ions and two chloride ions, two moles of chloride ions, um, we write our equilibrium constant expression, uh, products divided by the concentration of reactants, our lead ions, that's aqueous, so we include that, our chloride ions, that's aqueous, so we include that, and we have a 
2 coefficient in front of the chloride, so we put a 2 exponent here, and we divide that by the concentration of reactants. However, our reactant is in the solid phase, so we don't include that. Okay. So this would be our final KC, our equilibrium expression. Let's try a couple more. Uh, here's another sample problem. Again, try to write the um, equilibrium constant expression for these two chemical reactions. Notice that they are uh, heterogeneous equilibrium. So pause the video and take a few minutes to try to do that. Okay. So for our first chemical equation, we would have uh, Kc equal to the concentration of carbon monoxide squared divided by the concentration of carbon dioxide. We would not include the solid carbon in our equilibrium expression because the concentration remains constant during the chemical reaction. And for our second one, our Kc expression would be <clears throat> the concentration of Hg2+, plus, that is aqueous, divided by the concentration of Hg2+. Plus. Uh, both of these are aqueous, so we include those. However, the mercury liquid, we do not include that because, again, uh, pure liquids, the concentration remains constant, so we don't include those in our KC expression. So be sure you can recognize a heterogeneous equilibrium. Uh, be sure you can write an equilibrium constant expression for uh, reactions that, ha that are equilibrium and have uh, solids, liquids uh, in their chemical equations.